Walt Disney Productions, Mickey Mouse proudly presents The Mouse Factory. Factory, where in the past we have paid tribute to dogs, lions, insects, houses, dragons, giants, alligators, elephants, locomotives, dancers, boats, and penguins. Now, it is my proud privilege to honor that lowly, unsung hero of fabled folk tales and Disney cartoons, the mouse. Now, I'll bet you think I was referring to Mickey Mouse. Huh? We're going to see other famous mice here at the Disney Studios. Sorry, Mickey. Maybe next time. Don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson was the fellow who said, if a man builds a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to his door. Well, Walt Disney managed to top that. He built a better mouse instead. His name is Mickey, and he's been our house mouse here at the studio since 1928. His great success as a worldwide mouse hero made it possible for other mice types to break into big-time showbiz. I you remember Timothy? He was Dumbo's right-hand circus mouse friend when Dumbo was being laughed at for having big ears. <laughs> and, of course, Amos, the genius mouse behind the man in the story of Ben Franklin. But did you know that we had a mouse here at Disney's who wanted to make like a bird? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't satisfied with being just an ordinary old field mouse. No, he, he wanted to fly. No kidding. And he was called... Uh, you guessed it. The Flying Mouse. Mouse, mouse. Oh, here we are. The encyclopedia defines mouse as an imprecise term applying to any small rodent, but often referring to the common house mouse. Or mus musculus, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. What the, what the book doesn't mention is that the mouse is a great little character for the movies. Now, he's got all the qualities of the underdog, the uh, under mouse. Uh, well, he is brave, courageous. I mean, have you ever heard of any other animal who could possibly stampede a whole herd of elephants? Now, and the little fellow has an indomitable spirit. He just won't quit, especially when it comes to scrounging up three squares a day. Huh? Huh? Well, of course, here at the mouse factory, they figured that if one mouse uh, is a hit at the box office, well, why not a whole platoon of mouses? Meese. Mice. And that's just what they did when they put a gang of hungry mice together in the story of Cinderella. And the two most memorable of the gang were a little guy named Jacques and his comedy sidekick, Gus Gus. You know, most people who don't take mice seriously think that all mice are alike. I have several close friends who feel that if you've seen one mouse, you've seen them all. Well, of course, they're wrong, and they do the mouse a very large disservice. I mean, there are as many different types of mice as there are different kinds of people. Now, here we have the deer mouse who lives in the forest where the deer live. That makes sense. The desert mouse who lives in the desert where the desert mice live. Now, the, the kangaroo mouse who does not live in a kangaroo. <laughs> I'm told. Uh, then the pocket mouse who, I suppose, could live in a pocket if you wanted to. Uh, now, I'm sure you've all heard of the uh, poor mouse who lives in a church. And then we have the 
the ever-popular city mouse who lives in places like Pittsburgh or Cleveland, and his cousin, the organically grown mouse from, would you believe, the country. Well, let's see what happens when this city slicker mouse gets a visit from his country cousin.